This is Michael Oral of MobileBurn.com, and this very shiny, glossy device I have in my hands is the new Samsung Propel Pro. This is the Windows Mobile 6.1 version of the popular Propel that Samsung makes for AT&T. You can see it has a uh, slider design, just like the original, but it still maintains the full QWERTY keyboard. Left-hand edge here, we have the micro SD card slot. Supports micro SD HC cards, so you can get like 16 or eventually 32 gig cards in there. Volume control, power switch. Uh, power switch also brings up shortcut menu. You see when I press it, you, know, you can get to the wireless manager, quickly change profiles, things like that. Not much on up top except for the latch for the rear cover, which is very, very, very shiny. It's uh, the entire thing has a kind of a metal finish to it, uh, evacuated metal finish to it, I guess is what it's, Motorola used to call it when the original Pebble came out. We have a proprietary Samsung headset charger port on the side, same as you see on the blackjack and similar devices. This is a camera shutter button, and the thing is it's only a single stage button, so you press it in and the autofocus camera will automatically gain focus and then take the photo. So you can't like partially press it to get focus, recompose or anything like that. So it's, it's not ideal, uh, but it, I suppose it works. As you can see, you know, the camera is obscured when the device is folded up and you can see it has a self-portrait mirror here on the back. Um, we've just been playing this for with, with this for seconds and you can see the back is already covered with fingerprints and that is a real design problem with this device. They could have given, you know, for a business device, they could have given it any kind of look and finish they wanted and they went with all gloss everywhere which I think is a bit of a problem. Keyboard design also a little bit questionable. Um, the blackjack has been so popular with the little separate keys and everything that you really gotta wonder why they thought to make these larger keys that butt right up against each other. Um, something maybe similar to the Blackberry Bold series um, where I've always preferred the keys on the curve which are a little more separated. In any event the keys offer very good feel uh, really pleased with it. The layout is normal. You can see we've got a full four rows here, a microphone down here at the bottom. Shift keys, function keys, uh, dedicated button for shortcut for you know putting into silent mode. And I'll show you some other functionality too. It's like uh, shortcuts for messaging, uh, bringing up AT&T's, unfortunately a home page, you know, can't get to your just your own page. Um, but very nice overall. Something people are going to either love or hate is this new joystick. It is a variable speed joystick. Instead of using a, you know, a scroll wheel or something like this, it's a little more compact, and you can nudge it slowly, you know, just by pushing a little bit, or you know, push it further to get faster speeds. Uh, clicks in nicely. Um, actually, I'm pretty pleased with it overall. I really love the scroll wheel on the blackjack. I think I can love this as well, and I am very pleased um, with the layout. Uh, everything is nice and close. You know, you got your thumb here, you're moving around real quickly, here's home, here's back, there's the end keys, soft keys, everything's really, really in a compact location. It's very quick to get to everything. So, quite pleased about the hardware design in general. With the glaring, and I really do mean glaring, exception of the chrome kind of pseudo-chrome finish, almost like a graphite finish. Now that I've wiped the device down a bit, we're going to open it up and take a look at the OS itself. Now you can see Unlike the Blackjack and um, even other devices we have here, this is the original i620, which the Propel, Propel Pro's design is based heavily upon. You can see they're both you know, slider, QWERTY bar kind of things, uh, except the Propel Pro um, lacks the scroll wheel that we mentioned before. And the, the scroll wheel on the i620 and the i640 after is probably one of the best scroll wheels ever built. Um, but you can see the designs are very, very similar. Uh, except the big difference here is on the new device we have a 320 by 320 pixel display which doesn't sound like much but compared to the QVGA display it gives you a lot more room for browsing uh, things fit better it's just it's, it's really nice it's the same kind of display you're seeing on uh, the Palm devices you know the trios have traditionally had square displays like this so you can see we can move through the list you know, I'm just scrolling through with the joysticks. Very, very slight nudges everywhere. Um, same thing works, you know, through the sliding panels interface. You'll notice that it intelligently stops at the bottom, even though I'm still holding the joystick down. If I press the joystick again, then it'll go all the way to the top, so it won't just keep scrolling in a loop over and over and over again, which, of course, nobody wants. Uh, you can see the sliding panels. This is the stock view. Um, so Samsung hasn't done anything too fancy with this. 
same layout you'd see on pretty much any other Windows uh, Mobile 6.1 standard device. It's filled with some AT&T services. I'm not sure if there's any way to get rid of those because, quite frankly, uh, I'm not going to be using those. Built-in photos uh, viewer. And uh, the camera actually takes really nice photos. I haven't taken a lot of photos with it, but you can take a look at some of the ones I just took um, here in the office a minute ago. Uh, that one actually is a stock photo. This is mine. You know, the, the colors are coming out really nicely. Uh, sharp focusing. Really working pretty well so far. Quite pleased. You can also access your music and things like that from the from the uh, home page here. Samsung did include one custom home screen. This one's called Wiz Pro. Uh, you can see it, it kind of looks like their touch screen, touch Wiz type deals like on the Omni. It's just really slow to use. Um, it, it's, it's a nice concept, but it's so slow that you're, you're not going to save any time whatsoever, even though it's all graphically laid out very nicely.